What was your high school scandal? I was one of the first class in my town's new high school, and every year a new teacher was fired for some type of inappropriate contact with the students. It was kinda like how in Harry Potter the defense against the dark arts teacher always died each year only with less magic and more molestation. A teacher fucked a student but nobody gave a shit, because the principal was also fucking her. Not much of a scandal, but I saw it with my own eyes. One day, I was walking around my school upstairs doing high school shit and whatnot. As I was about to descend down the stairs, I saw a large gathering of students watching a fight break out by a few boys. Among the fighters was one of my classmates from choir class. I didn't stick around for the ending. I had my own problems to deal with. A few days later, I heard that my classmate, along with the students who started the fight, were suspended for a few days. As soon as I met him at school, I asked him what went down. It turns out that he was trying to break up fight and, due to the zero tolerance policy, got suspended for it. He was one of the nicest guys I've met in HS and I felt that the suspension was unwarranted. A great way to demolish one's respect for authority and for no good reason. To ask the 80s. There was a big fight one day outside between the rockers and the rappers. Apparently there were homemade weapons such as a board with males involved. The principal jumped into the fray to try to stop it. High school race war. I wasn't part of it, but I remember people running outside to watch or join in. We had a police presence there for months after the incident. There was a big fight to stop the strip club from opening near the school. It opened. The club is still there and looks super janky. We used to burn the graduating classes year into the hill near the school. That stopped in my year, 1990, when a girl got stuck in the zero when the fire was ignited. She was fine. What kind of school did you fucking go to? What the hell? My freshman year, staff infection was spreading because of the boys locker room. Had to sanitize the desks between each class. Sophomore year, scabies were spreading around the school. A few people got them on their genitals. I'm pretty sure this also started from the football players. Also had a senior killed in a DUI accident, he was the driver. Was in a coma for a month before they pulled life support. Junior year, I'm pretty sure it was this year that we had what is still being called fight week three years later. Every day of that week there was a fight. Girl pissed herself in one of them, like 15 in total. It's been a while, but there were a lot. Senior year. Seven football players were busted for using steroids. A coach was outed as administering them. They weren't allowed in star positions when the season started, but were still allowed to play. Relentless social media rants from competing schools with a few suing after we beat them out of playoffs. Our school contacted UIL who told the district exactly what to do when admins found out. Later that year a sophomore was killed in a car accident. No drugs or alcohol involved. Wasn't wearing a seatbelt. He flew out the windshield. This past year which was also my sister's freshman year. Three sophomores were in a DUI accident. Two were killed. A month later, a junior was killed in a car accident. Wasn't wearing a seatbelt. This is also a smaller school. Roughly 200 kids in each graduating class 800 for the entire school. Each death took a toll on everyone. Even if they didn't know them. This next senior class will have lost two kids as will the class after them. There was a girl who bullied just about everyone who wasn't in her clique. Well, she kept threatening one of my friends, even calling her house with death threats on her and her family. My friend brought a paring knife to school one day to protect herself as they had been in physical altercations a few times. Well, that day my friend stabbed her in the hall next to the cafeteria during lunch and killed her. I don't remember the exact story, but a handful of kids were caught buying and selling acid in my senior year and ended up with some heavy repercussions. It was like a domino effect. One got caught and all of a sudden like 6 people were expelled and at risk of losing their college acceptances. Crazy shit, man. I went to two different high schools and each one had a few scandals. A few guys burned a swastika into the football field. The civics class ended up on Fox News for holding a mock trial, trying the president for war crimes. The teacher ended up getting death threats and shit and they weren't allowed to publicly announce the verdict. A female English teacher groomed a student. 
She recently got 5 years in prison. Her nudes were leaked at one point. <laughs> Bought a junkyard car for a few hundred dollar and parked it in the commons for the senior prank. Female therapist fucked the autistic kids. Girl gave head to someone in the male bathrooms and a dude taped it without them knowing. Football team or teams made a throne of shit resulting in a ginormous throne of shit 3 to 4 foot tall out of the toilet bowl. Dude threatened to shoot up the school using the photos of a guy who lived in another state causing 90% of the kids to skip. VP got caught with coke and got a DUI during a traffic stop. To that stand out as memorable R. A guy was sleeping with his friend's mother and the friend found out it all came to a head on Halloween so everyone was dressed up in outfits the guy was dressed in a toga with nothing underneath, so the friend ran up to him in the quad and ripped of said toga the poor guy had to streak, but naked through the quad in the middle of the day. We had two British guys in high school, one was a massive drinker so much, so that he once smuggled in two liters of some concoction, I know it had vodka and rum in it, not sure what else. Hidden in a Mountain Dew bottle he proceeded to drink this surreptitiously during lunch until he got hammered, after which he ran to the staircase and tried to jump down the gap in between the railings. He was legitimately never seen nor talked of again. I genuinely have no clue what happened to him. There are a ton more, but as I said these are the two that stand out this was an ultra preppy public high school, but it definitely had its moments. Good old BHS. A couple of them. Kid got pantsed in gym class, down to nothing. Witnessed by something like 30 to 45 students. He was so humiliated he transferred out in less than a month. A teacher died after he electrocuted himself while doing work on his house. We had a police drug raid after the faculty was tipped off that numerous students were hiding drugs in their lockers. And now the kicker, the faculty mistakenly hired a local stand-up comedian to give an anti-drug speech. My assistant principal was accused and charged with sexual assault on multiple minors after a few girls reported that he would motorboat their tits when they were alone in his office. Just motorboat? That seems odd. This one confuses me. He can probably live with himself so long as he doesn't cross some imaginary line he's set up in his head. There's this documentary about priests molesting minors and one of them said it's fine because there was no ejaculation. My sophomore year. Three seniors got caught raping a cow. Police interrogating the seniors. Police officer, did you rape that cow? Seniors. P-E-R-H-A-P-S. Utterly despicable go-go. Power Rangers. Power Rangers ranchers. Power rapists. When the bus driver hit a kid and took off, not remembering there were other kids on the bus. I'm a piece of shit for finding this funny. You are a piece of shit, but I laughed at you. So where do I stand? I didn't laugh at you, so you are neither funny or a piece of shit. We had a science teacher who would just not teach. For his morning class, they'd just make breakfast and hang out all period. As finals came closer, I guess he realized that none of his students had learned enough to take the exam. One morning he left the exam on his desk and said back quote okay I'm going to the bathroom. No one touched the final exam on my desk. Apparently this was a common occurrence with him. Pretty sure he was finally suspended a few years ago. That sounds similar to what my biology teacher did it only the day or days before finals when all the other teachers did review he told us that we could have a single sheet of paper with whatever we wanted written on it during the exam. He then proceeded to put up a string of numbers and letters that was labeled answer key. This one seems like it would work out badly when literally every single kid got 100%. A sex offender managed to visit the school by calling himself the Duke of Cleveland and was there almost the whole day, harassing women. Oh hey, another Stillwater alumni. We had an outbreak of chlamydia two years in a row. There was a Twitter account that was exposing the popular kids' nudes. This still happens. More so with Snapchat accounts where I am. They'll be called school name exposed. I don't know how you get access to them, I've never tried, I don't really care to see my peers naked, but I knew people in my welding class who had 5 or 6 exposed accounts on their snap. How do these accounts stay up, but when I make fun of Projard, I get suspended. Nobody iced reporting these. Meanwhile Projard fans are reporting negative comments against him. Squeaky wheel. Wait, people actually like Projard? 
a kid, around age 11 to 12, went on a huge rampage. He destroyed an entire room of bathrooms, pushed random people in the halls, and ran around screaming. He had to be taken out in handcuffs by police. This was the first time someone has ever been suspended for more than a week. Turned out that he had a shitty home life. After a few months, the school let him back in, since it was really his only normal.